Hello dear children, welcome back to science class. In our previous chapter, we have learned that plants adapt themselves to a particular habitat by developing a special feature in them, which will help them to survive in their natural surrounding. Likewise, animals also develop a special feature in them in order to adapt themselves to a particular habitat. So in today's class, we are going to begin with the sixth chapter, Adaptations in Animals. So these special features that help a plant or an animal to survive in their natural surroundings are called adaptations. Animals adapt themselves to a particular habitat, especially for food, shelter, and also to protect themselves from their enemies. But if these animals are not able to adapt themselves to their natural surrounding, then they might become extinct, which means they might no longer exist on this earth. Do you know one such animal which has got extinct like that? Yes, they are dinosaurs, as you see here in this picture. These are extinct, which means they no longer exist on earth. This is because they could not adapt themselves to their natural surrounding. This might be because of climate change and various other reasons. Now, let us go on to learn adaptations in animals. We are familiar with many animals that live on land, isn't it? Yes. These animals that live on land are called terrestrial animals. Some of the terrestrial animals are, as we know, cat, lion, dog, tiger, bear, etc. We have already learned about terrestrial habitats of plants, isn't it? Yes, now let us learn about the terrestrial habitats of animals. The terrestrial habitats of animals are, as you see here, mountains, plains and desert regions. Now, let us learn about each of these terrestrial habitats one by one. Let us learn about the first terrestrial habitat, that is the plain region. We all know that plain regions are not very hot or they are not very cold. Some of the animals that live in the plain regions, as we know, are dogs, lions, tiger, snakes and elephants. We know that these animals like dogs, lions, tigers and elephants, they use their leg to walk and to run around. Then what about snakes? Yes, snakes do not have legs but they use their scales to crawl. But there is one common thing for all these terrestrial animals. It is that these terrestrial animals use their lungs to breathe. Now let us learn about the next terrestrial habitat, that is the desert regions. We all know that desert regions are very hot and dry places. Like how you see here in these pictures, they have scarcity of water. This is because these regions get very little rainfall. But there are animals that can live in the desert regions too. One such animal that lives in the desert region is camel. Now let us learn how do camels adapt themselves to survive in the desert region. Camels have got a very thick skin which will help them to prevent from loss of water from their body. These animals, as you see here in this picture, they have got a broad, a flat and also padded soles which will help them to walk around in the desert easily. These animals have got long eyelashes like how you see here in this picture. Now these long eyelashes will protect the animal from the sand of the desert. 
Some other animals that live in the desert regions are desert rats and desert snakes. Now you must be wondering how do these camels live in the desert without drinking water for many days? Do you know something? Camels can stay without drinking water for many days. This is because they drink a lot of water one time when they drink water so that they can store water in their body which will help them to survive without drinking water for many days. Let us look into something surprising and interesting. During the hot and dry summer seasons, some of the animals, they go for a long summer sleep or they even become inactive during the season. Do you know why do they do so? They go for this long summer sleep or they are inactive. This will prevent the loss of water from their body. Some of the animals that live in the desert, as you see here, desert tortoise and salamanders, these animals also go for long summer sleep so that they can prevent the loss of water from their body. So this is called estivation. We have now learned about two terrestrial habitats. They are plain region and desert region. We will now learn about the third terrestrial habitat. That is the mountain region. As we all know, mountain regions are cold places. Some of the animals that live in the mountain region are mountain goats as you see here and yaks. These animals have got thick hair on their body as you see here in these pictures which will protect them from cold. So the special feature that is adapted by these animals to survive in the mountain region is that they have thick hair on their body which will protect them from the cold climate. Let us learn about polar regions and also the adaptations of animals that live in this particular region. Polar regions are generally very cold. These are even more cold than mountain regions. Some of the animals that live in the polar regions are, as you see here, polar bears and penguins. Now let us see, how do these animals adapt themselves to this particular region? Most of the animals that live in the polar regions, they have thick fur or otherwise thick hair on their body. So this thick fur that is there on their body will protect them from cold or otherwise it will help them to keep their body warm. Also, these animals have got a thick layer of fat under their skin. So this thick layer of fat under their skin will keep their bodies warm. This thick layer of fat under their skin is otherwise called blubber. During the winter season, this thick layer of fat that is there under their skin is used as food by these animals. Also, we have learned about estivation where animals sleep for long hours during the summer season. Likewise, during the winter season also, animals go for a long sleep. So some of the animals go for long sleep and they even become inactive during the winter season. So this is called winter sleep or otherwise hibernation.